What's up, fellas? Um, last night, I mean, if you watch the fight, um, it was super clear, super clear. Mayweather dominated him. Uh, he was no match for Mayweather. Um, has a lot of heart, and he's tough. I, you know, I ain't going to take that away from him. But I, his dad, man, I just don't understand that behavior. I guess he was overwhelmed by the whole situation or something. And I was just picking fights with everybody, using profanity. Like, uh, he was running around that ring and just bumping into everybody and cursing at him and calling them names. And I think it just got a little ridiculous. But anyways, um, we got a hell of a fight on our hands coming up. Lucas Matisse versus Lamont Peterson. Um, I just got finished watching uh, this Lucas uh, Matisse fight against that uh, Jose, I don't know, he's a very difficult name uh, to pronounce. Um, I think it was his second to last fight. Uh, man. Okay. This is what I, this is what I noticed about, um, about Matisse. I don't think he hits as hard as everyone says he does. And the reason I think everyone thinks he hits really hard is because he, of the way that he throws his punches. There are these like big, gigantic, looping hook shots. And, um, but the fact of the matter is, I don't know, I don't exactly know how hard they are, relatively speaking, to the other guys in, in that weight class. But they do damage, that's for sure. And, um, Peterson, his, uh, Matisse's footwork is, it's okay. And he kind of, his D is all right too. He kind of D's up like Arthur Abraham, you know, he just kind of shells up like this, you know, when you start popping them and then he, you pop, you know, um, I like, um, I like, uh, I like, uh, I like the way Matisse punches out of when he's headlocked. He like brings his arm up almost like behind his own back and pops the guy that got him in a headlock right in the side of his head. I mean, it was, I was really impressed by that. Um, his shots are the type that you don't see coming. And I think that's why he knocks dudes out a lot too. Um, uh, you know, Every time, for some reason, every time this guy fights a big name, he loses. And it's always a split decision against uh, Zab Judah and against, uh, what's his name, uh, that other fucking guy I don't like, um, Devin Alexander. Um, I think what's going to happen with Peterson, this is a pretty big fight. I mean, Peterson... Um, he could be set up, he could be setting himself up for I mean, possibly even a Mayweather bout. Um, but, uh, uh, I think that what's going to happen is Matisse is probably going to figure on that he needs a knockout again in order to win this fight. It's another big fight, big name fight. Um, if he allows that to overwhelm him, Peterson is fundamentally sound, and um, while I think Matisse is more aggressive, um, and more, more he's Matisse is more aggressive, and overall he's a pretty solid fundamental fighter. I mean, he, he, like I said, his footwork's not great. His D's not great, but, um, he, he's very aggressive and he's there to win. And, um, Peterson almost, he's fundamentally sound and, and he looked good against Kendall Holt, but, but Matisse, whereas Holt is looking for that one big punch and once Peterson realized that Holt's one big punch wasn't going to hurt him, it was pretty much over from that point on. Matisse is not looking for one big punch. He's he he 
he works that jab um, really well. And, um, you know, uh, he works the jab. I like the way he, uh, Matisse works the jab. And, um, and, and he's got a, a much larger range than Holt did. And, and that could present a problem for Peterson. Um, so I think that if Matisse does not purposely only go for a knockout because he thinks he won't win otherwise, then I think he has a legitimate chance to win the fight if it gets judged fairly. Um, I would lean towards him, but this is going to be a close fight, guys. This is going to be a good fight. Both of these guys are game. Both of these guys are trying to move up in terms of bigger fights, and um, they're both, I think, 30 years old or some. I, I forgot Peterson's age, but I think Matisse's 30. Um, they're, I mean, I don't think age is an, is an issue here. Um, this is going to be a pretty close one, and I just hope that, you know, the judging uh, is fair and, you know, he doesn't get robbed again. Um, I could see a draw. I could even see a draw in this one. Um, but uh, this, I'm looking forward to this. I, uh, Peterson proved, that, I mean, he seemed to prove in the last fight that if he wasn't on any juice, you know, he he looked good phys physically. He looked good, and his stamina looked good. Um, so, you know, like I said, Matisse's stamina is is very good. Um, it's gonna be a great fight. I but I, I'll lean Matisse. Um, and man, I would like to see Matisse. I mean, honestly, guys, you know, I mean, me, I I, I called this one against uh, Guerrero with Mayweather. I think Matisse would give Mayweather problems. I'm going on the record as saying that because those big looping out of control punches when you're locked up that land, that's the kind of punches I think are going to give Mayweather some trouble. Um... And I think Matisse is more a better fighter than Guerrero, um, fundamentally. So mark my words, I'm going on the record right now that if he ever finds himself in there with Mayweather, if his, I don't know if he's too small or not for Mayweather. He might be too small, and if he moves up to 147, his punching power, I don't know what what it will be like. But let's let's assume that it's the same or very close to what what it is relatively speaking now um i, I want to see that fight i would like to see that fight um but anyhow it was a great fight last night i loved it um that's it